What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the Uverse? Welcome back to the channel, and as promised in the last video, if you haven't seen it, all about repairing and rebuilding the CRG Aero Mirror, go ahead and check in that uh, top right corner, you know, and uh, when, when you're done watching this video or come back to it, you know, click on the eye, go down and watch the video or watch the playlist on the build on this absolutely beautiful 2018 Aprilia Tuono factory that I lovingly call Empress. Yeah, uh, I love this bike. But as you guys saw in that CRG uh, video and some of the eagle-eyed viewers, caught in the video before that um we had a little off the crg aero um bar end adapter released on a ride i wasn't recording but i swear it did happen even though it didn't happen on video it did happen um the bike didn't go down i didn't fall it just fell off and uh we're gonna fix that problem and i think the problem that was happening uh, is actually i don't know I don't think it was user error because, uh, or installer error, even though it sounds like I might be a little biased, you know, and defending the installer, this guy. Um, but my right side mirror never fell off. It, it was still super snug. But just in case, I'm gonna fix it. And the way I'm gonna fix it is I'm actually gonna go back to the old uh, bar end weight adapter that came from the factory these little suckers right here. Originally I was gonna paint these and I'll show you why here in just a minute, but I'm riding tomorrow and Sunday. So these will get taken back apart and painted over the week uh, because you wanna let spray paint on anything that's gonna be you know, out and you're gonna have to put a wrench on it. You're gonna to wanna to let it cure for at least 24 hours, preferably three, four, five days. Let it cure as long as it can. Put on a few coats and uh, I'm gonna to try to get them as nice as possible. So. I'm gonna work on that next week. Um, it'll be off camera, you know, you're spray painting a part. If you don't know how to do that, uh, YouTube it. There's tons of videos, it's real easy. But let's get over to the workbench and I'll show you guys what we need and how we're going to accomplish this. Start the workbench camera. Kinda should have started that earlier, huh? Whatever, don't judge me. So, like I said, uh, over here, we will need the factory bar end weight adapters. I had um, inserted a couple M6 screws earlier to protect these inner threads and then tape them up if you're going to paint them. If you're not, like in this case, and we're going to have these god awful ugly silver wrenches for a couple days or a weekend sticking out from the bars, um, you don't need to do any of that. And this is, well, this one isn't the offense. The offender. This one was actually the offender that's been modified. Um, you can see these striations right here, these lines. Those are from the inner threads, you know, that these go into. Those kind of, kind of match up. So that was what was biting in. Instead of it getting a firm bite here into the bar, we were just getting the threads biting into these wedges on the CRG uh, bar end adapters. But anyway, we'll get rid of that. Because what we gotta do is we gotta turn this into this. Nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, I know that looks a little rough, but honestly, you'll never see it. It's gonna be wedged right in between there. You'll never see it, so who cares, right? Right, I might paint and touch that up as well. So if we pull that nut off, Ever. Get this bolt out. Now, one thing that is key on this, see how it's got the ones that come with your CRG bar end adapters have that throat? You can't use that, and that's why. See how the threads don't go all the way? We actually need an M6 bolt, all thread. So, thread all the way down. This is uh, M618, I think. And I think this one's like a 20. It's a little bit longer. Um, yeah, either black or silver. Take your pick. I only had one of each. I'm gonna have to go to Ace Hardware and grab some bolts as well. So kind of embarrassing. But that's what the black one will look like. I'll grab another black one on that um, Ace Hardware. So that won't be too bad. 
right? So now to trim this off, we need a Dremel, right? Just a rotary tool, Dremel. This is a Black & Decker, so it's not a Dremel. And I really like these Easy Lock cutoff wheels. Uh, buy them in a kit. And you get some metals and some plastic ones. Where's that wrench? Where's that wrench? Just make sure that's locked down. And just take this sucker. We're good to go. All right, let's move these cameras. Oops. This camera over here. Yeah, that'll work. And we need power. Need a rag that's fairly soft, but you don't worry about getting the little metal fragments in. And then we're going to take our end adapter. We're going to wrap it. This is just a plat to uh, protect this anodized finish a little bit. I'm going to give it a couple wraps in this rag. Pinch it in the vise. Nice and snug, make sure she don't move. Uh, where'd I put them? Where'd I put them? Any safety glasses? We need sweet tea, and we need, when we're done with the sweet tea, for it to be away from the flying little metal fragments. That's, that's good advice right there. With that over there, move that chair out of the way. I'm gonna run this on like a medium speed. Release the lock. Now it's nice and smooth up there. It is going to be very hot. So you can see it's nice and smooth. And that is ready. Release the vise. Set that down. Once it cools down, we'll wipe it down and get all the metal fragments off. And we're back to this. Come around to the front of the bike. Move the camera yet again. And we'll be working on this end right here. So this little nut, it's a uh, 24 millimeter OD. And uh, I don't want to run out to my work van right now. And grab my half inch drive. The only 24 millimeter I have is a half inch. So I do have a set of these adjustable wrenches that are a nice smooth tooth. Also an ultra wide mouth, so they can go on there. Just adjust them and I'll just cinch this down. Now I will be coming back uh, after I paint it and I'll put a little bit of blue Loctite on there uh, just to cinch it down even better. So now to put this in here, Five millimeter Allen key. Cinch that down. And now you see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna paint it so that this silver right here, yeah, you guys can see that. So that silver isn't exposed, just uh, OCD. And then once that's done, you can install your arrow or bar and mirror of choice. For that, we need a three millimeter for the CRG arrows, and that's for the bolt for this clamp. Somewhere around there. 
I'll fine tune it tomorrow. Fine tune it sitting on the bike, make sure that, you know, it adjusts properly and we'll repeat the process on the other side. And you're good to go. And that's that. Guaranteed those, especially once I come back and I put some red Loctite on them. Uh, those are a little dirty. Those won't fall off and we're good. We're set. Metal shavings all over me and we're secure. And I'm not gonna be dropping. Uh, I'm not gonna be dropping $120 mirrors on the middle of the road again. Uh, and I still maintain my look. I still got my bar ends. Everything looks nice and clean. If you guys like this and if you think it's a good idea, give it a thumbs up. I know there are other options um, like Rhino Moto. So if you haven't bought the CRG uh, bar end mirror adapters, um, I think it's Rhino Moto, if I remember correctly. Kishardio, leave me a comment down below and let me know which bar ends you've got on that beautiful SDR. Um, I'm pretty sure they're, they're Rhino Moto. Um, which are really slick, so they're bar end weights with the built-in mirror adapters. Freaking slick, I kind of wish I'd gone that way in the first place and avoided all this, but I already had them, so I figured I'd modify them and I'd share the info with you guys. So if you're looking at these CRG Aero mirrors, which I think are the best mirrors you can get for the Aprilia Tuono, that's why they're on Empress, um, I think this is the best way to mount them. But Anyway, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button, all that fun stuff and helping the algorithm and thanks everybody. And you know I freaking love you guys. Keep that shiny side up. I will see you guys out in the canyons and uh, actually tomorrow it'll be out in the city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Till the next time guys, I love y'all. Peace.